Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at whether it's 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to around the 4th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the uh, set of GFS and Ishem Ensembles, the Vapor and Charlie Covered Weeks. And we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. It will get us into the second half of June and I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first, a video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast and I've also released European outlook as well. Check out those two bits. If you'd like to do that, like, share, and subscribe on the videos. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. I'm running very, 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 very late with uh, today, 10 to 14 day. I've been uh, having uh, a bite of lunch out with a couple of friends, and uh, then I went to the gym. So, um, yeah, I've had a very busy uh, day, and I'm so sorry, but your 10 to 14 day is uh, is late, so I shall crack off it for you shortly. I just got to tell you about the charity event that we currently uh, doing at Gasworthy, so um, we are raising money for Rainbows Hospice. They provide vital care for uh, children and young adults or young people with uh, life limiting and also terminal conditions. They're based in Loughborough, they cover, co cover the entire East Midlands area. They are my local uh, children's hospice, and uh, it's going to be the one year anniversary of when Mrs. P passed my mum on Saturday and so in her memory we are doing uh you know this charity event so if you would like to give a donation to rainbows then you can do so at the uh, Gasworthy's Just Giving page this is it we're up to 580 pounds now thank you so so much to all of our uh, tremendously kind and uh, generous uh, donators um, who have donated to this thank you so much uh, everybody and uh, the link to uh, rainbows find out more about the work that they do and also the link to, uh, just giving is in the description uh, with this video. Check it out. Have a look. You can also donate. If you don't want to create a Just Giving page, that's fine. You can also donate with regards to his PayPal page. A couple of people have done that and I've sent the donation through to Just Giving um, from, you know, from PayPal. So, uh, this is regards to his PayPal.me page. Again, the link to this is in the description. You can give a donation to PayPal. I will then make, and make sure and ensure that it is sent on to uh, Rainbows. A couple of people have chosen to do it that way. Thank you so much to those people that have donated through uh, PayPal. So uh, it's incredible. It's amazing. We're going to be doing a three hour live stream on Saturday evening between 6 and 9 p.m. We're going to be raising money for Rainbows. We're going to have guests joining me. You'll hear from uh, Jeffers. You'll hear from Mark Bogan. You'll hear from Seb. You'll hear from Ben. Uh, we're going to have a couple of messages from uh, Amazing Rich and also from Brian Gaze as well, as they can't join me on the live stream live, but they have recorded a couple of messages for us. So it's going to be absolutely epic, and I can't wait to see you all on Saturday at 6 p.m. for our charity live stream, raising money for Rainbows Hospice. It will probably be the final charity event that I do. Um, no, uh, it's going to be a completely one-off, unique experience. If you're around at all on Saturday evening, please check in to that. I'm going to be wearing a suit. I won't tell you uh, well, I'm going to be looking like, but I will be quite uh, quite differently dressed. So uh, wait until uh, you see uh, how I'm uh, attired on Saturday. And that's all coming up from 6pm. Thank you so much, everybody. Of course, the, the, the wider point is Rainbow's Hospice. They give uh, tremendous care to children and young people with terminal and life limiting conditions. They do unbelievable work. And please please, please give a donation if you can possibly afford to. In fact, you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Right, let's crack on with your 10 to 14 downs. I am running shockingly late. Right, let's start off, then. Setting temperature. CT is currently sitting at 12.4, which is 1.2 degree above 61 to 99 average. How do you like an evening 10 to 14 day? Quite different this, isn't it? Don't very often do a 10 to 14 day and re release it in the evening. Let me know in the comments what you think. But yeah, we're at 12.4, which is 1.2 degrees above 61 to 99 average. That is provisional to yesterday, 24th of May. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. For the next couple of weeks, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London, starting off about average up the boat. You'll see those upper air temperatures uh, drifting up as we go through the remainder of May and into June. Looks like things will become quite warm around the turn of the month. Maybe a little bit of cooling trend showing up though. 
as we get into the uh, end of the first week and into the second week of June. Precipitation-wise, loads of dry weather over the next week or so. Maybe just going in a little bit more showering into the first week of June. Of course, it's a long way off. It's very extended range and therefore is unreliable. Reliably, within the next week, 10 days, it's a warm and dry outlook. Temperature anomalies from the 25th of May, 2nd of June, coming out uh, a little bit above average in most parts of the UK and Ireland. And precipitation anomalies from the 25th of May to 2nd of June, coming out very substantially drier than normal. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Later on, from that from Earth, no school dot net shows that high pressure is in the uh, salency. Got a large reach of high pressure still pushing in from off the Atlantic into West Europe, bringing loads of dry weather with it, and that will be the case through the coming days. Right, chart data. So, of UK, make your run. High pressure centre just to our west and around that. We're putting in winds from a little bit of a northwesterly direction on Sunday. Slightly cooler air begin to move into the area of high pressure, but basically we're high and dry. Large 1,030 mil of our area of high pressure sits slap down right over top of the country, brings loads of dry and warm or very warm weather with it as we get to uh, this, this time next week, which is Thursday uh, first of June, first day of June, high pressure is uh, drifting a little bit further northwards, but still in intensity, still in control. Winds coming in from the east direction should be relatively warm. Might just bring a few showers into the east and the southeast on those east layers. But GFS, no, I can't. Uh, next, again, the high pressure dominates the weather um, as we go through the bank holiday weekend and into the early to middle part of next week. We are high and dry with high pressure dominating throughout next week up to the second of June. Had no change. Maybe just some uh, hint of a fungi load to our south that might be threatening a few storms and downfalls on the south. But, um, you know, basically high pressure dominates. This is the GFS midnight run. Again, we see about high pressure uh, dominating the scene as we go through next week. GFS uh, midnight run. These are absolutely classic charts if you like warm, dry summer weather. Uh, weather even. By the time we get through day 10, that high pressure is trying to drift a bit further towards the northwest. Some sort of a fungi low is begin to, beginning to develop over France. And as we head on into the extended range, that high pressure keeps the fungi low at bay. So up to the 8th of, of the 9th, actually, of May, 10th of May even, um, we're basically dominated by high pressure. But by the 10th of May, just a little bit of a hint of a thundering development starting to push up from the south. Of course, that's 384 hours away. So over two weeks away, 16 days' time. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, very unlikely to uh, verify the GFS 6Z. Again, it's all much of a much. It's high pressure dominating weather. Classic charts here as we're going through. Next week, we are high and dry of a big area of high pressure in control. We do see that high pressure going out to the northwest, so by the time you get through the 4th and the 5th of June, days 10 and, 10 and 11, and that starts to allow some cooler air to start pushing from the north into more northern and eastern parts of the country. It begins to turn a little bit cooler and maybe a little bit more showering as we get through the uh, first, into the end of the first week and into the beginning of the second week of June, although still even then with an anti-cyclonic influence. GFS 12 then is updating as we're speaking. Um, that's as far as we can get to, I think, today. So that's Thursday. Okay, let's go a bit further than that. So that's uh, uh, Thursday, 25th of May, for the 2nd of June. Still high pressure when truly in the ascendancy. That's the 3rd of June, 216 hours uh, with the latest 12 Z run. That day can high pressure still anchored and rooted, dominating uh, the scene up to day 10, which is the 4th of June on the GFS 12 Z, which is currently updating. No change there. If you're enjoying the video, please send you like, share, subscribe. I'm so sorry you've had to wait so long for this video uh, today. Um, normal service will be resumed uh, tomorrow with an early afternoon, uh, 10 to 4 day release as usual um but if you have enjoyed the video please you like share and subscribe and make sure you check out rainbows hospice providing vital care for uh, children and also young people with life limiting and terminal conditions check out the uh, just giving page if you would like to give a donation to rainbows and you can also donate through paypal if you want if you don't want to donate through just giving uh, but you've got a pay page you can also donate through our paypal page and i will then send that on 
to uh, rainbows via just giving. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, GM, again, we've got high pressure dominating weather on Sunday and throughout the rest of bank holiday weekend. High pressure is in control. Keep that high pressure going right the way through next week. It gradually inches a little bit further northwest to allow something slightly cooler coming from the north and the northeast around the edge of the high pressure. Um, and that's as far as we get to uh, there up to date town. And again, just slots out a little bit on the cooler side for Norman and East Coast, maybe one or two showers. And then the ECM at WF, it's all much of a much this through the back holiday weekend. High pressure will dominate the weather and last into the middle. And also second half of next week, eventually the heights pull up to Greenland and Iceland to get to around day 9, 10, allowing something just a little bit cooler to start drifting to northern and eastern regions and maybe one or two light showers from down the east coast on those northeasterly uh, breezes. So it's a little bit cooler there around days 8, 9, 10. But other than that, high pressure, semi ascendancy. Just go through precipitation type forecast. It's on at ECM run from tomatshow.com. <laughs> Look at that. Dry, 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 dry. Just a few showers coming along later on around days 8, 9, 10 as we just bring in that northeasterly uh, flow slightly. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office, which gets us to the 4th of June, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure just to our west. Low pressure is to the east, and we bring down uh, quite a coolish sort of north northeast breeze. So all members of the ECM ensembles want to take a high pressure away to the northwest by day 10. And then in two week time, very similar scenario actually. This gets us to the 9th of June, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure in the Atlantic and over Scandinavia and over France, generally pulling in a wind from like a northerly or northeast direction. But the low pressure itself could be threatening some rain, maybe in some thunder on more southern parts of the country. And then lastly, set up best B2, these are 500 mil bar height and knowledge breaking down into wheat periods. The first wheat period will take us from 25th May to the 31st, becoming wheat will have high pressure sat right over top of the country, lots of dry, fine, and warm weather. Week 2 is going to be the 1st to the 7th of June with high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic and going up towards green, low pressure down towards France, Spain, Portugal. Winds are coming in from a north or northeasterly direction, so it's mostly dry but it's a little bit cooler. Week 3! It's going to be the 8th to the 14th of June, a middle Atlantic ridge with low pressure being coming up from the southwest. That could be quite a lot more unsettled there through the second week of June, which shows lots of both rain. High pressure though begins to come back into week 4, 15th to 21st of June, a ridge out to our western northwest should start to be drier. Could be a little bit on the cool side with winds in from the northwest, but should be mainly dry. We'll see. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed this video, then please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Worthies and get them to subscribe too. It's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. More importantly, don't forget to check out Rainbow's Hospice, providing vital care for children and young people with life-limiting and terminal conditions. You can go to their website, link is in the description, see all the incredible work that they do. And you can also give a donation to Rainbow's via the Gals Worthies Just Giving page. Thank you so much for everybody who has donated so far, and those still to donate. Thanks, 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 thanks so much. And don't forget, if you haven't got a Just Giving page, but I've got a PayPal, you can always give a donation through the Galsworthy's PayPal page, and I will then send that on to uh, Rainbows via Just Giving, and that is no problem at all. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. So, uh, we're going to start our 6 in the UK. We're forecast our Jeremy Friday, 10 to 14 day. The East Coast day, 42 day forecast will be released tomorrow as well. So, four vids on the way tomorrow. The content keeps on coming. We keep rolling, rolling, rolling on. I'm so sorry, everybody. But RIP to Tina. Wasn't she a performer? Absolutely incredible. RIP Tina Turner. Uh, yeah, the content keeps on uh, coming and keeps on rolling. And uh, four vids on the way tomorrow. Keep checking back for more. And I promise tomorrow's 10 to 14 day will be a, a much more reasonable <laughs> time as well. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening for this one. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.